SpaceX has announced an ambitious plan to send an unmanned capsule to Mars, bringing the company's CEO, Elon Musk, one step closer to his dream of colonizing the Red Planet. SpaceX tweeted that they are planning to send Dragon to Mars as soon as 2018, with more details to come. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood is in Merritt Island, Florida. Bill, good to see you. Hey, good to see you. So explain to us exactly what this Red Dragon capsule is. Yeah, really, it's just a, it's a red planet, call it the Red Dragon. The Dragon capsule is what SpaceX has developed to carry cargo to the International Space Station. We're all familiar with that now on these uh, flights to deliver material up to the outpost. There's a piloted version of this called the Dragon 2 that SpaceX is developing uh, to carry astronauts to and from the station. Now, what Elon Musk is proposing to do is take that upgraded Dragon and send it to Mars without anybody on board uh, and down to the surface for a landing just to, to gather the knowledge of the what you have to do to pull that off, you know, get a lot of lessons learned so that you can plan down the road eventually to send people. And so how far can it go, Bill? What are some of the capabilities of this craft? Well, you know, Elon likes to say that he designed this spacecraft to land on any planet in the solar system. He even tweeted <laughs> yesterday that you could even land this thing on Venus, although he said it wouldn't last very long given how hot it is on Venus. But uh, it could certainly go to Mars. You know, this spacecraft is equipped with very powerful rocket engines to help a crew escape from an exploding booster, for example, or to come back to Earth with a powered descent, landing on the power of the rocket engines. There's no reason you couldn't use those same engines, obviously, to land on Mars. And so that's the plan. But some of the challenges are, are pretty steep. You know, the, the Mars atmosphere is so much thinner than ours, it's very hard to slow down. Uh, there'd be a lot of work that would have to go on to make all that happen. Uh, but Mr. Musk, uh, he is a dreamer, and he is absolutely determined to make this happen. All right, so, I mean, 2018, time-wise, is just around the corner. How ambitious is that timeline? Well, it remains to be seen. You know, they're talking about using the rocket that uh, SpaceX builds called the Falcon Heavy. This is a, a huge rocket. It has not yet flown. They're hoping to test fly it later this year or early next. Uh, so they've got to perfect the rocket. But beyond that, um, I think they could certainly get the capsule there. Uh, getting it down to the surface safely is another matter. And uh, SpaceX hopes to work with NASA. They hope to exchange some data uh, to help pave the way for that. And so Elon Musk has long supported this idea of colonizing uh, Mars. Uh, you pointed out the Red Dragon is unmanned, but is this perhaps a very first step? You know, the journey of a thousand mile begins with that first step, Bill, I've been told. Um, is this the, uh, this, could this be a first step in colonizing Mars? Well, it could be the first step in, in Elon Musk's plan to send people to Mars <laughs> eventually. You know, NASA, as you say, that, the devil's in the details here. You know, NASA plans to send people to Mars sometime in the 2030s. It's all very nebulous because no one knows what that's going to cost yet or what the technological requirements are going to be to make it happen. I think in this case, uh, Mr. Musk is simply wanting to perfect the technology, get some firsthand experience on what it takes to send a spacecraft to Mars, land it on the surface and collect some data in the process. And depending on how that goes, that will inform his plans for the future. Uh, he, as you say, he says that he believes it's important uh, to establish colonies elsewhere in the solar system. And, of course, this is, as you say, a very first small step, but it is a step. And uh, so I think a lot of folks are really looking forward to see, see if he can pull this off. Bill Hartwood in Merritt Island, Florida. Bill, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Sure thing.